Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time we're playing Hungry Lamu, where we're playing as Lamu the Llama, who's a little hungry. He wants to go grab a snack in the middle of the forest with his friends. And I'm sure nothing bad could go wrong. This is a special request by an individual who goes by the name of Ada on YouTube, so hopefully, guys, hopefully he'll enjoy it, and hopefully the rest of you guys will too. Hello, Lamu. You had a good nap, didn't you? Oh dear, look looks like somebody's hungry. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. Okay. Boy, this brings back memories of, like, classic Flash games. Isn't it a beautiful day, Lamu? Let's find some cherries to put in that stomach of yours. Alright, so far so good. Animation quality is actually surprisingly decent. Okay. Here, let's go see. This is... Those... I... You know what? I'm gonna show my ignorance here. I wasn't aware that cherries were blue and grew on bushes. There aren't any cherries beyond this point. Alright. And let's head north. Let's go see if I can go find... Here we go. For a hungry llama. Yum, weren't those cherries delicious? But Lamu's still hungry. Cherries are not enough for Lamu's stomach. No, oh, what's that? Well, if it isn't a cute little banana. Lamu loves fruits. I'm sure this banana wouldn't mind helping Lamu. Let's go meet this banana, Lamu. I have a feeling he might object, but... Hey buddy, how you doing? Talk to the banana. Hello, little banana. Bark, bark. Oh dear, looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help Lamu. Woof, 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 bark, bark, bark. We'll need to make the banana sleep so Lamu can have a delicious meal. I need something hard, oh dear. I'm about to clock an animal over the head with a rock, aren't I? Oh, Jesus, all right, uh, let's see. Objective, eat the banana. I need something, I need something like sturdy to use, right? Not grabbing any of those. Don't head backwards. Yeah, okay, this, this llama is actually quite terrifying. Just looking at it, he has like, the weirdly human face. Yeah. That's, that's getting to me slightly. Okay. Oh, you know what? I bet maybe it's up here. Maybe it's past the banana dog. Oh, no, here it is. Okay. Let's take the rock. Here, buddy, you wanna, you wanna go take a nap? Aw. What a hearty meal. I'm sure the banana didn't mind. Despite its sour attitude, it tasted very sweet. However, there's still some space in Lamu's big stomach. Oh, what's that, Lamu? It's a bunch of fruit friends. We don't see a lot of them around here. I can't imagine why. Their fruit should be big enough to fill up Lamu's stomach. Let's go say hi to them. Okay. Let's go eat three fruit friends. Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, they know better. They run away. Looks like they want to play a game. Just like the other fruit friends you've met in the past. How fun. Come on, Lamu. Let's find our new fruit friends so we can have some of their delicious fruits. Oh, we're... We're playing as a serial killer. I need something stinging. Well, you know what? Yeah, I bet I'm gonna have to start something on fire, aren't I? Okay. Let's see. Here we go. I need something sharp. Where's the third one of these little guys? Oh, well, hey, what do you know? I have an axe. Oh, and it's already coincidentally all red, just for me. Okay. Okay, and there we go. Let's find the orange. Whoa, that was a high fall. Did you know oranges give you tons of energy? Have mine. Maybe next time you'll be able to climb a tree too. Okay, I'm kind of more weirded out by the fact that they're just like really chill and cool with being eaten. Yeah, that's that's kind of the thing that's getting that's like making me more concerned than anything. Oh, okay. I see a bunch of trees down here. What are the odds that I have to go start a forest fire? 
So we need something stinging. I'm probably gonna have to find like ants or whatever, right? Okay. Hmm. Oh, hey, look! Bees! Okay, that's actually like super... Oh, hello. I need something hot, huh? Okay. Yeah, let's light the bush up. Here you go. That's hot, hot, hot. Oh, geez. Couldn't you try something less burning? Well, I hope you like burned pear because it's all yours. Boy, this is sincerely concerning. And now I've also started a forest fire. Okay. Uh, here you go, buddy. Have some bees. Uh, ouch! The bees stung me everywhere. Looks like I've got to be careful next time. Have my apple. You bees deserve it. I'm eating you because of those puns. Yum, yum, yum. Were your fruit friends just delicious, Lamu? What a great day. Playing with friends, eating delicious fruits, and having fun. Today was a marvelous day, wasn't it, Lamu? Oh? What's that, Lamu? You're still hungry? Mmm. Oh, dear. What the hell? Sounded like Tasha. I told him not to make so much ruckus. Let's see what they're up to. Okay. Find the flash. Oh, boy. The campsite isn't this way. Oh, wait, is it the, uh... Oh, no, I bet we're the people whose car that was, aren't we? Yeah, we're probably the poor SOBs. Oh, I bet that because I smashed the car, I'm not going to be able to escape. Okay. Here's the campsite. Where did they all go? Where's Moki? Moki, where are you, girl? She couldn't have run off too far. Find Moki. This frickin- if this frickin' llama ate my dog, I'm gonna have myself a new pair of boots. I don't think she would run off this way. Okay, so the, the, the game's kinda putting us on a bit of a, like, tight leash here. Let's see. I'm very paranoid. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> yeah, I remember reading once a story about some dude who... <clears throat> I don't remember what he was doing. If he was like a ranch hand somewhere. Or if he was just like out on a hike in the middle of nowhere. And he came across this weird, creepy... I shouldn't go any deeper. No, you probably shouldn't. Yeah, he came across this weird creep... Oh my god, you killed my dog. You ate my dog in half, you monster. Moki? What the fuck? Who did this? Poor girl. Whichever one of you did this, this is fucked up. Tasha, Ken, Leon, where the hell are you guys? Find your three friends. I don't think we're gonna be able to. But no, um, one of the things that, yeah, he did is he found them and then he described like... Yeah, he described seeing a weird long-necked creature with like dark green skin and apparently it was like eating some I think it was like, eating berries or something that had it all coated in like red so he ended up like freaking out and taking a shot at it but apparently the round that he used was so small it just kind of bounced off the skull of the creature and uh yeah it turned out it was a llama so honestly this is making me very very sympathetic to this that dude's plight okay so if I I just keep on expecting to turn around and just see something booking it at me. Okay, here's a downed tree. Oh my god. What happened? Oh god, Tasha. She must have twisted her leg in the tree. What the hell did this to her? Oh no. Oh, no. Can I... Okay. Oh, boy. Oh. So it's not merely that he's dangerous. He's supernatural. Oh, dear. What was that? Okay. You know what, game? I'm on edge. Boy, what I wouldn't give for a handgun right now. 
I swear to God, I just saw something on the left side of the screen there. Okay, okay, I can, I'm starting to see why this was recommended. Yeah, uh, really starting to see why this is recommended, cause... This is frickin' spooky. I need to find the others first. Okay. I'm going to assume that there's going to be something... There's going to be something distinct, right? I saw you out there, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I see you there too. So this is what they were talking about. This was the fruit friends. Oh shit. <coughs> Holy shit. I don't even recognize him. He's burnt to a crisp. The hell is going on? <clears throat> well, the third one should be off this way then, right? Yeah, no, that's I I just made that connection. This is... Huh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it is that way. Yeah, I just made the connection. These are the three fruit friends. Well, why would they run away from just a llama, I guess? Like, this one's very obviously a demon, but... Just a normal llama? Like, were they just freaked out to find it? Okay, you need to stop that. Yeah, we well, you know what deals with bastard llamas? 308 round to the frickin' face. Jerk off. Okay. Where... It's like he's leading me to them. Cause I'm trying to think, what was... Yeah, the third one was the one who got stung to death by bees, right? I'm going to be sick. Why are there so many bees? Who did this to you, Ken? I have to get out of here. I need to get to the car. Oh dear. I'm trying to think, so... It should be this way. Right? Ostensibly it should be this way. Oh, I wonder something. I wonder if... Hmm... I wonder if... Eh, see you over there, you son of a bitch. I told you I'm gonna make you into a frickin' coat. Oh dear. Oh, this is like slender. Okay. That's not good. Um, but no, I was like, oh yeah, I wonder just if... If maybe the fact that we destroyed the car... Kind of did this early for us. Like, if we were going to have a... If there was going to be one more part to the game. Yeah, I see you over there, fucker. All he does is he just rotates and looks at me. I need to get the car. I need to get the... Yes, I know, game, but... Lamu Forest Park. The car is busted. Oh, my God. Who the hell is doing this? <laughs> okay. Oh, well there we go, ending two out of two, a full course meal. I'm gonna shave your fur, you bastard. Alright, let's go back in. I wanna see if I can go get ending one out of one then, cause I... Yeah, I wanna see what I can pull off. So I'll be right back. So I found something interesting really quickly here. This isn't where you guys anticipated it. But if you go all the way off to the south of the map, I actually found another person. And I think that's supposed to be who we are. Whoever we're playing as, that is the fourth of the group. Yeah, whoever it is we encounter later. I just thought it was kind of a neat, that's a neat little touch. It's kind of cool to show this person actually was in the woods. Okay. Find all three of my friends. Let's go see if I can get out of here without getting murdered by this giant prick. I did manage to not destroy the car, so I wonder if it'll actually work this time. Yeah, and there he is. He's just watching, waiting, guarding. Okay, is this gonna work or is he gonna be in the back seat with me? 
Or he's, yeah, he's gonna be like next to me or behind me, isn't he? Yeah, I feel like I should... <laughs> okay. Ending one out of two, roadkill. Tragedy at Lamu Forest Park. It was supposed to be a peaceful camping trip of four friends turned into a devastating bloodbath. Tasha Neal, Ken Abel, Leon Dion, and Redacted were camping in the Lamu Forest Park on the night of February 19th. Being adults just graduated and were looking to have a getaway out in the wild to unwind and relax. That is when tragedy occurred. Tasha, Ken, and Leon were brutally murdered and decapitated in the middle of the night, leaving Redacted to be the lone survivor of the devastating incident. The Lambu Forest Park has been infamous for its collection of known murders of those that entered the park. Every murder involved within the park has been through decapitation by unknown means, though forensics have concluded that bite marks present on the deceased bodies resemble that of human teeth. The mystery of the Lambu killer has been solved due to recent developments. The authorities have decided to withhold the information of details about said killer. They assure the public that it will no longer cause any harm to its citizens. Redacted has refused to participate in any interviews, understandably due to their traumatizing experience. Our deepest condolences to the family of Tasha, Ken, and Leon. The public may rest easy knowing the Lamu killer has been apprehended. Okay, like, that's actually really, really weird. That, that explains something, though. You know how he said that his, like, human face was really freaking me out? Yeah, his human face was kind of giving me some really bad vibes. That means that this is like, that, yeah, this thing has like giant human teeth. That is horrifying. And I kind of love this game, so Ada, thank you a million times for recommending this. Really, really appreciate it. This was great. I love this idea. Um. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of piecing it together too. Obviously, the. I pieced it together once I realized that it was all the forest friends. Yeah, obviously, this is the dog, right? You know, we, we obviously encountered that earlier, in case I... I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. Yeah, this was a really cool subversion of expectation. So, yeah, great job, developer. Really well done, and I hope, like heck, you keep making games. Because this worked extremely well. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like or leave a comment. How did you feel about the game? Yeah, how did you guys feel, overall, about Hungry Lamu? Sorry, just my mouse clicked out of the screen there for a sec. Took me a second to find it and bring it back. Yeah, what did you guys think the game did right? And how many of you saw the expectation coming that this was going to turn out to be a big twist? I mean, it was a kind of obvious one, but at the same time, I don't know. I wasn't really sure what was going on. If it was going to come out that like we were just murdering all of our friendly forest creatures and we were going to like eventually start having to eat people, or what, yeah, what we think happened, I don't know. And overall, what did you guys think of the game? How did you guys feel about this? And if there's any others out there like this they think would be fun to play, feel free to recommend them. This was a ton of fun. And extremely unnerving and scary. And if you're new to the channel, if you enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really, really appreciate that. And for everybody else, Thank you very much for watching Hungry Lamu. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.